Begin laying face up on the mat, hands down by your sides. Point both legs up in the air as best you can. Peel the back of the hips up off the floor slightly, putting your pelvis into a little bit of a posterior tilt. This helps to engage the abs. Keep the tongue on the roof of your mouth to help engage the core even better. And then just slowly lower one leg, like so, and repeat. Alternating legs from the top. Go as low as you can while keeping the hips peeled up off the floor slightly. As a progression for this movement, you can do a two second pause at the bottom, then return up and repeat. As a further progression, you can prop yourself up onto your forearms like this and do an incline variation. The main benefits of this exercise is that it works the lower abdominals. This is often an area of the abdominals that people are weakest in, and it helps with a lot of core control, which will transition into a whole bunch of other types of exercises and everyday movements. Common form errors on this exercise are lowering the legs too quickly without controlling the movement. Here you're just pivoting from the hips and using momentum rather than using the abs to slowly control the movement. Another common form error is allowing your low back to arch up off the mat, like so. That engages more of the hip flexors and less of the abs. We want to keep the low back rounded into the floor, taking the hips up a little bit. Another area people will struggle with is just keeping the legs straight. A lot of people might have trouble with the hamstring flexibility. They may have their knees bent, like so. If that's the case, then what you can do is you can use an exercise tube or a strap and just lasso one foot and hold it into a good hamstring stretch and then just lower one leg at a time, like so. And do the movement this way until you're ready to advance to the standard version.